Hey guys, my name is Dylan Jones with Frontier Precision and in today's Tech Talk we're going to be looking at using Precise Road Stakeout uh, utilizing an instrument, GNSS, and uh, the station elevation routine. So this is an integrated survey style Tech Talk uh, where I'm going to be talking about those, uh, those things. First things first, let's take a look at our data collector. We need to have a survey style setup. I have one called SX12 integrated. You can see when I open up and edit the survey style, we have conventional and GNSS. So we just need to establish two, uh, two survey styles, one conventional, one GNSS uh, to get us going. We're combining them into this integrated survey style. We have our prism to antenna offset. So depending on the type of receiver and the type of prism that you're using, you're going to appropriately select uh, from this list here to get that prism to antenna height offset. And then most importantly for this tech talk, we're going to be talking about the precise elevation check mark there. So we want to have that on and I'll show you what that's all about. So let's hit accept. We're gonna hit store and escape out of our survey styles. All right. so. Um, for this tech talk, I have uh, my SX12 instrument set up over here on the knoll. It's giving me a good field of view to my road that I have here uh, loaded on my map screen. I'm in the roads module, so that's important to be in the roads module. I have my VRS network that I'm going to dial into. Um, and then I have a benchmark elevation that I want to uh, elevate my station off of. All right, so here's the routine and what that looks like. So first things first, we want to start our survey. So we're gonna go to menu, stake out. Okay, again, this is in roads, stake out, and then choose our integrated survey style. SX12 integrated, and then I can do a station elevation routine. So this gives me flexibility to set up my instrument wherever I want. I just need to station elevate on a uh, known elevation. Uh, so what's going to happen here is it's going to start up my VRS connection um, and uh, and then I will get that going here and then from there I'm going to um, shoot a benchmark with my instrument. So as the survey is starting I'm going to walk over to my benchmark over here on the other side of my site. Let's level the instrument here first go ahead and accept that and it's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit today all right so the station elevation routine I need to put in an instrument point name I'll just go with the default here for now code just so I know it was a station elevation and then my instrument height is 5.01 feet all right now I can go over to my benchmark So I have a known elevation on this benchmark. This point name does not exist in my survey just yet, so I'm going to key it in. So this is point uh, 15. It's actually this point here on my road, so I'll just go ahead and grab that really quick. And I will go ahead and hit store. All right, so Essentially there, I just had to key in a, a known benchmark of location and elevation. And now I'm going to shoot it with my robot. So I'm gonna turn my robot towards me. And I'm using the SX-12, so I can go ahead and sight in on my position here really easily Target like locked. that. Make sure I'm using the proper prism and prism height. No target. So I'm running uh, six locked. feet. All right, I'm gonna level up and I'm gonna measure. Observation stored. So I just take that observation to my known benchmark. I'm going to see the results or the residual screen here. There's no residuals really. We're going to hit the results button and then go ahead and store this. So this is providing an elevation now to my instrument. Sorry, I had to get out of the way of some traffic. Uh, but so now at this point, um, I have uh, my station elevation I'm going to go ahead and stake out my road. 
All right, so what you're gonna see here and what's important is that you start the stakeout in GNSS mode, all right? So I'm gonna switch over to GNSS and I can do that by tapping on the angles in the, at the top right hand uh, portion of the status bar. That's the quickest way to, to switch between GNSS and uh, robotic total station mode. Okay, so I can just tap uh, that area of the status bar. All right, so now that I'm in GNSS mode, um, one thing we can't do yet is use utilize the IMU tilt compensation. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, perhaps one day we'll be able to use that in this mode, but uh, today we cannot. So I'm going to just disable that altogether and run this as just a traditional RTK uh, rover. All right. So now I'm ready to stake out my road. Let's go to menu, stake out, stake out road. No target target locked and uh, it appears I don't have my file located in the proper uh, directory not a big deal I have it loaded here in my layers so I'm going to just go ahead and select my road from the map hit stake out and here you'll see your target height you'll also see your antenna height for your robot or sorry for your uh, GNSS rover and then your station interval we'll go ahead and hit next here just a little warning message telling you that uh, if you're using road stake out precise elevation uh, you cannot use the GNSS IMU tilt compensation so we'll hit OK and acknowledge that now we can stake out any of our traditional ways here um, so I'm going to do a station on string and I want to stake out let's start at 4 plus 25 We'll forego the uh, construction offsets for now. Let's go ahead and hit start. And so interestingly enough, up at the top right hand portion of the screen, we see our RTK horizontal precision of four hundredths and a vertical precision of zero. And it says TS in parentheses, which stands for the total station. So we're getting precise vertical readouts from the total station. Okay, we aren't using the vertical from the GNSS at all. It's all purely coming from the total station. So we're gonna remain locked onto our target here. Uh, just make sure that uh, that is the case. And we're gonna go ahead and navigate over to our, uh, to our location. There we go. So we're getting our horizontal from our GNSS and vertical from our total station. Just remember that. Forgot I'm not staking out with the IMU. It's tough to go backwards. All right, there we go. So we're, we're staking out horizontally to our position and we have our cut, sorry, a fill of uh, 0.452 feet. Let's go ahead and measure this. And there we go. Store that. Observation stored. I'm gonna go ahead and do a station plus, navigate to the next next station here. There we go. So through all this, again we're getting our observation from stored. Our GNSS receiver and the vertical being precise from the instrument. It's the biggest thing here. And we didn't have to do a station setup. We didn't have to do a resection. We just simply put our robot GPS search anywhere ready. on site. Gives us that flexibility. Maybe there's uh, some obstructions that aren't that don't allow us to see our control, or um, you just want to position it somewhere that's convenient and out of the way, and gives you good line of sight to pretty much the entire road corridor. Uh, so that's what I did here. We shot in a benchmark, used the station elevation routine, quickly set up our instrument to provide it a vertical. Uh, reference point and uh, no target with staking out our road target locked. Uh, with integrated surveying so that's what I have for you in this tech talk hopefully you learned something beneficial and we'll join us again next time